Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael, KE4EST. And today I thought I'd do a really quick unboxing maybe. I don't really do unboxings much on this channel, but this is the new Arduino Mini Limited Edition that they just came out with a couple weeks ago or uh, just announced anyway. And day one when I got the email, I snatched one up. They're like 45 US dollars. Why? Just to have one. And I thought maybe I'd share it with everybody on the channel here that's interested. This is, like I say, a limited edition. I don't know how many they're really going to make or whatever. And if we look over here, you can see that they are... Yeah, there's 45 US dollars. I'm in the US. And they are currently sold out. And you can't see. Let's see. Well, anyway, it says estimated three, two to three weeks right now. And you can go over there to, to the store over at Arduino.cc. If you want to look at it and look more about it, um, you can see here there's a start guide and everything that tells you everything here about it. But anyway, so let's not make this too too awfully long. Get my mouse on the right screen here. So I think everything's focused up. So it comes just like this here. Tells you all the size, big features, and blah blah blah. And it's mainly celebrating 10 million Arduino Uno's that's been made. And so, really, it's a collector's item. It's fully functional. And as they say on the website, it's 25% the size, but uh, just as powerful. And then it comes out just like that. And you can see, for people that care, they everybody signed it on the team. And it's even, yeah, you can see that's been handwritten. B058 is what I've got here. Maybe that's lot B, the 58th one in the lot. I don't know, you know, how they're doing their lots or whatever, anything like that. But there it is. There's a the little booger. And it comes right out. Let me get this out of the way. And this to give you, look how well that sucker is. Just to give you an idea, I have looked, I've got so many, the money I've spent in single board computers and microcontroller boards over the years. I have looked everywhere trying to find Arduino Uno. I know I've got probably 10 of them and plenty of Unos and off brand ones and everything else. And I could not find one, but I did find this shield. This is a Ethernet shield for Arduino Uno. And you can see, get my fingers out of the way it's about a quarter of the size because this is about the same size as an uno like i said this is not a uno this is an ethernet shield but you can see how little it is and here's a uh, get that. esp32 raspberry pi that just came out with the little picos it's even smaller than that they kind of you tried to use the same form factor as a, you know, how the pins are laid out on a Uno, but they shrunk them way down. And these are just little covers they've got over them. You can take them off. And you can get to the pins there. And if you see, let's see, let put it on the right one here. Oh, maybe it's the other one. Over here. You can see. It says the pitch distance between the pinholes is 0 0.05 inches or 1.27 millimeters. This is half the distance compared to the classic Uno of 0.1 or the you know standard. But if you mess these a lot, you know the 2.54 is a standard for everything. Even this, you know, or this ESP32, you know, even I got a Tensi 4.1 here. Um, even it's go back here 
even it's the same thing, you know, because you can see that I can take, this one's got these pins on it, but they'll fit right in there. Well, one's kind of got bent there. But I can just stick them right in there through the holes. Well, I don't know why it's wanting to be a butt, but they should just stick right in there. Pretty much they're going in, but you see they match up. The standard 2.54 millimeter, 0.1. This is the same thing here, you know. It just should just drop right in. It'll go in with this Raspberry Pi Pico. You know, sticks right in there. But this, nope. I don't know if you can see it. Well, on the camera, you can see that. But yeah, that ain't going to work. <laughs> so if you do want to get one of these and actually use it, you, uh, I'll put these back on so I don't lose them. You will have to get different header pins if you want to plug headers in or different wires even uh, you get like these that you stick in you know you would take and you'd stick in here to you know go over to your circuit and do something with or whatever that's not going to fit in that hole you might could jam it in there but you'd tear it up so the big nice thing about this too is it's USB-C or the Uno is USB B, which is fine, you know, for the size. If you're, you know, that size, you know, it locks in really nice and well. This is definitely better, you know, than the micro USB that everybody wants to go with. And I'll be glad when everybody gets over to the USB C. So it definitely is a lot easier to work with and it plugs right in, no problem, it don't fall out half the time. If you've messed with these boards much, with microcontrollers and such, you'll know what I'm talking about, how they're a pain in the butt um, using the micro USB sometimes, but anyway, there that is, and let me uh, even fire it up here, plug right in, and of course it comes with the little, I've not done any programming on it, it's got a power LED there, you can see that this green one and it's got three orange LEDs one is transmit and receive for the serial port and then one is hooked to pin 13 which is currently blinking at about 1000 milliseconds I'm guessing so let's see just a second here Oh, I thought I had this ready. Hang on. Bear with me just a minute. We'll go with... Let's put this over here so you can see it. Here's the standard old blink without delay. Now, if you hook this up, now I've already plugged it in. When you first plug it in, it's going to pop up down here and say to use this... Well, why don't you see my mouse on there for some reason? Anyway, down here, it will pop up and do, you know, the library or the board manager is going to come up and say, hey, you need to update. If not, you can go up to the tools and the board manager and grab and, you know, uh, um, of course, I've got mine set up here for teensy boards and everything else, but you can go there and go to boards manager here and look for this, it's the Arduino AVR board manager or AVR Arduino AVR boards is what it'll be and it's a pretty good size update but it's going to grab that and update that, I don't know why it's whole, it's using the same uh, 32.8p just a little, you know, a little tiny small version of it there well, we're going to program it here and I've not tried this yet and yes I know uh, I am, uh, you're getting blocked there with this. Let's see, maybe I'll just move it up. Well, if I grab the right one, I'll just move you up out of the way there. So you can see down here what's going on. Now, tools, I've already got it set for the Arduino Mini. And mine happens to be COM port 4, and you can see it says, well, if it stay up there, 
Palm 4, and it says Arduino Uno Mini. And we are, I'm guessing this is the blank program it's installed on here, run it 1000. I'm going to change it to Two hundred and upload that, and you can see here what's going on. And you can look at the board here. And it should do little blinkies. When it gets ready, there it goes. Yep, and it's doing its thing. And yep, you can see it's definitely blinking a lot faster. Take some light off of it there. So it's definitely took the upload just fine. And it don't come with the USB-C cable. Or any cable. Let's say you've seen what was in the box is in the box. But this is the cable I had. It's kind of dirty. But use it for everything. But works just like, you know, of course I've not tried all the pins out and all that. But I'm sure it'll be just fine. But, but there you go. There's the new Arduino Mini Limited Edition. And you see once again, oops, sorry about the camera shake. I'm trying to work around a tripod here. Look how little that is compared to a regular size of an Uno. So, um, I hope uh, you like this and it give you some more information. There's the back side of it. What it looks like there and it's got it on there. It's got the it tells you on the back too what pins are what and all that. Um, but I thought maybe I would just uh, show this to everybody if everybody if there's anybody that's curious about maybe I'm gonna get one of those forty five dollars just for a collector's item. But it's kind of neat. Um, if you're into this stuff and whatever, you probably already got one ordered. But if you're on the fence about it, there you go. Make your mind up. You know. Um, maybe they'll come out with a uh, cheaper one that's just like this but not in a fancy box and all this gold on it eventually you know, with the USB-C because this would be a neat little thing st sticking a project box for you know something but anyway until the next video this is Michael KE4EST 73